Um, I'd like to ask you about a provincial matter as well. Uh, the Notley government says they've put forward uh, Bill 24, and, and that's a bill that requires school staff to keep confidential when a student attends a gay-straight alliance or, or a similar kind of meeting to protect students' privacy rights. Why does your party oppose this bill? Well, what we support is the status quo that the NDP voted for uh, and supported and implemented for the past two and a half years. The only rationale they've offered for this legislation is it's a partisan tool to attack their opposition. That's not good enough. Our view is that uh, educators are in a better position than politicians to know uh, when it might be in the best interest of a child to engage parents, because this does apply to kids as young as the age of five in kindergarten. Um, and, uh, and there are kids who could be facing special circumstances, uh, perhaps a history of trauma or or emotional or, or um, mental difficulties uh, or kids with, on the autism spectrum uh, who do need a clearly in the, in the judgment of teachers might need the, the engagement and support of their parents so we think we should leave that uh, at the discretion of principals counselors and teachers rather than the hands of one politician in Edmonton hey, you're making the point that educators may know better than politicians about about uh, 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 about protecting children but but there, there are students in the gay-straight alliance uh, clubs that say that they themselves know better than the educators in terms of the the impacts that, that being outed uh, may have uh, at home what do you think of that Nobody supports outing. We oppose that. It's ridiculous to suggest that. We are talking about a bill that applies to children as young as the age of five. Uh, and the jurors, the, you know, the common sense and the, the law on the, the idea of mature minors is very clear that the younger a child is, the less capable they are of making uh, responsible decisions for themselves. There may be instances, and I know of some, uh, where you've got children with... Um, uh, serious uh, challenges, uh, uh, for example, on the autism spectrum, uh, who are uh, engaged in self-harm, for example, they need the loving support of their parents not to be isolated from their families. And we think that, uh, that uh, high school principals, counselors, and teachers are in a better s uh, position to assess those unique circumstances than using the blunt instrument of law. And basically all we're saying is to support the current legislation. Uh, no other province in Canada has done what the NDP is proposing. The NDP itself did not propose this uh, when this law came into place three years ago. You're talking about very young children, but to go back to talking about gay straight alliance clubs, which are typically in high schools, I mean, you've, you've said this bill is an attempt uh, by the NDP to do indirectly what they can't do in terms of curriculum. What, what do you mean by that? They are student run clubs. Well, a couple of points here. First of all, it's very clear, uh, and the advocates of uh, gay straight alliances, as well as the Alberta Teachers Association, say that they can and should be created uh, in elementary schools. The law applies, allows for these activities starting uh, from kindergarten up. So that's not uh, a fiction, it's a reality in the law. Secondly, uh, the Alberta Teachers Association says that uh, these uh, clubs are not just peer support groups, but they can involve educational activities, curriculum, political activity. Uh, and we're, we're simply saying that the long standing legal requirement that parents be informed about uh, educational content on human sexuality should continue. That doesn't mean uh, telling a parent that a kid is on the, in the club, it does, uh, mean, that, it does mean informing should parents. It, should, it be a if, child, if should it be a child's choice to tell someone about their sexuality? Yes, of course. But uh, you're, you're changing the subject. This last question was about teaching uh, content on human sexuality. Right now, that requires parental notification, I think in all provinces, certainly in Alberta. And we're simply suggesting that that continue to be the case, that, that content shouldn't be taught after hours, that is taught, uh, uh, that right now requires parental notification if taught in the classroom. Are, are there ways that, that Bill 24 could be amended that would be acceptable to your caucus? Yeah, well, we proposed an amendment to retain the long-standing uh, requirement of parental notification for education around uh, sexual nature, uh, which is uh, um, something I think exists in all provinces, but uh, the NDP voted against that, unfortunately. We would also ask the government to, to reconsider the application of this going down to age five in kindergarten. To, to we, we think the, the law, at the very least, should recognize the highly developed jurisprudence around mature minors. Jason Kenney, thanks very much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you.